Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Sketchup Bytes. Today we're going to be talking about how you can apply decals on your Sketchup models using the new decal feature in V-Ray 5 uh, for Sketchup. Okay, uh, as you can see, I have a Sketchup model of a Sriracha bottle here to the left, and I have a rendering of it to the right that was done in V-Ray. Uh, what I want to do is I want to apply the Sriracha logo on here as a decal. So I'm going to activate the decal tool by clicking on that icon over there, and you'll notice that the decal tool is activated. It says select your first point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my first point, and then it says select your second point. So what I'm going to do is then and the orbit around so it's sort of flat on the ground and select my second point. I'm gonna do it like, how do I wanna do this? Like so, right? Let's just do a select second point and then adjust the height. So I'm gonna adjust the height accordingly. Let's bring it up there and let's just move it over uh, this way, right? You see that the arrow over there is pointing downwards that means the decal is going to be projected downwards and that's not what we want so while in the move tool as you notice with the move tool with any group or component you can actually orbit or rotate an object about its center on it on any of these uh, different orientations right so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to orbit this so that the arrow is actually pointing towards the bottle so I'm going to grab one of that and just orbit it and it's going to be a 90 degree orbit and I'm going to look at this from the front view Right, let's do that and kind of move it in position as well, right? Like so, and maybe I want to scale this uh, like so. You can look at it from the front view. Actually, I want it to be scaling a little bit like so from the front view and take it exactly to that edge over there. Okay, so I have this decal object set up, but I need to apply a material to this decal object so that way that material gets projected onto the sriracha bottle. So what I need to do is I need to open up my asset editor, right? And I'm going to move this to the left over here. And I'm also going to activate the interactive render here so that way it's going to show up on, uh, on the um, V-Ray frame buffer to the right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this older decal that I had on there. So I have this single decal selected. Now this decal doesn't have any material applied to it and this decal is also not touching the object. You see that outer bound is not touching the object, right? So none of it's gonna be applying to the, uh, to the Sriracha bottle, if you will, right? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take the move um, tool and kind of move it so it starts intersecting with that bottle over there, right? You see that intersection take place over here. And now if I were to look at the interactive render to the right, you already see that at that intersection, let's just minimize this for a second here, at that intersection, it's already, you know, painting it white, if you will. There's no material applied to this decal yet. Uh, and so it's going to, by default, just paint it white. Now I'm going to go in and let's look at some of the materials that I have uh, currently in my model. I'm going to look at the CG06 color, right? Whatever that color is. And that color is actually this green color that I have. So why don't I apply this green color to this decal object? So I'm going to go back to the decal object over here. And where it says material under none, I'm going to click uh, that drop down and apply the G06, which is the green color as its, uh, as its material in the, in the texture slot, if you will, right here, right? Now, if I were to look at my interactive render, that green colored material is applied to it. Now, it's great, it's fine and dandy. If, you, if it's materials they wanna apply, whatever material it may be, metal material, plastic material, whatever material it may be, you can apply it to any object in SketchUp using this decal feature in Virit, which is fantastic. It was really difficult in the past, but now it's made very easy. And what you'll also notice is as I move this closer and closer inwards, it's intersecting more and more. So when I let go, you will notice that the bounds of the intersection is exactly where it's gonna start painting that material, if you will, on top of that surface, right? But in this case, instead of a material or a color, I want to actually apply a logo to this bottle, right? And in that case, what I need to do is I need to actually have a material that actually has that logo on there. So what I need to do is under the Create Asset um, feature in V-Ray, I'm going to click on that and under Materials, I'm going to create a generic material here. Right, there's that generic material. And what I'll do is I'll also rename this and I'll call this logo, right? And in this logo, 
this generic material in in the diffuse uh, you know texture slot I'm gonna put in a bitmap of that logo on there right click on that bitmap and under my downloads let's see I have that sriracha sauce logo on there so I'm gonna open that and it's gonna apply that uh, you know sriracha logo as part of the uh, generic material, right? There's that bitmap, there's that Sriracha logo. Now, if I were to go back to my uh, decal, instead of the color G06, I can then, you know, um, point towards the, uh, the, uh, the uh, generic logo material uh, that I just created, right? I'm gonna click on logo, and all of a sudden, you're gonna see that Sriracha logo applied to it, but it's not looking quite right. You know, you see that black outline on there, and all one needs to do at that point is, let's go back to the uh, materials here and look at that bitmap over here. Under the color manipulation, what we wanna do, actually, under that logo over there, under the opacity, what we wanna do is we wanna check the diffuse texture alpha because we wanna, if you were to look on top here as well, right now that black is taking over all of the transparent area where it's supposed to be transparent. If I check that box, it's gonna now, uh, you know, soon enough show up and update as, you know, wherever it needs to be transparent, it's transparent. Wherever it needs to be a different color, it's a different color. But at the same time, I see that while it's applied to this bottle over here, it's showing up as red in color, right? Let's zoom in a little bit, right? Um, and let's let the interactive render take place as well. But you can sort of see the outline of the logo. It's showing up as red in color, and that's probably not what we want. We want it to be maybe white in color, right? And in that case, we're gonna go into that bitmap over here, and then uh, under the color, uh, manipulation in the color offset what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this up to white so it's actually start showing up as white as well and what we also notice is that it, the, the letters are actually stretching out you know uh, as the further in it gets the further stretched out it gets it's because you know the if I were to look at this uh, this model from the front view right the the and, and in parallel projection the the outer bounds of the decal object is actually exactly flush against the corners of the, the bottle, and that's not how it's supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna scale it, I'm gonna scale it about the center by hitting the control key, and maybe just scale it about maybe 0.9%, right, or, uh, or 90% of it, right? So that way, when I look at it now, it looks just about right, right? So, um, so all we did was we essentially, uh, you know, let's uh, minimize this over here. Essentially, all we did was we, uh, you know, created that uh, that um, uh, that decal object in uh, V-Ray uh, for SketchUp, which creates this box. Then we made this box point towards the the object where we want that decal to apply to, and then we brought in, uh, we created a new material that was a, a generic material to apply that texture or that bitmap or the PNG that we have of the logo. And then once that was uh, brought in as a material, that's the material that uh, took over the decals texture slot right here under the material for the decal from that drop down you could simply select the logo on there right and you can always play with you know these other options on here like the normal angle for instance you know as you're um, as this moves in uh, deeper and deeper as you push the decal object deeper and deeper you can actually change the normal angle and so you can tell uh, view how far you want the decal to go into you can also have a fade out option selected so it fades along the edges over here and those are all things that you can obviously try out on your own and, and, and see what it might look like so for instance in this normal angle if i took it down to let's say six over here you can see that it's chopping off you know uh, anything beyond six degrees um, but you know we obviously want it to be showing completely so i just dragged it all the way to 89 and it shows up again okay um, uh, for any of these objects as you hover over them in V-Ray it gives you a sense of what it's meant to be or what what each of those um, uh, options uh, signify as part of the rendering so always if you have any questions on any of this it's always best to just hover over it and it will kind of give you a short tidbit on what it's meant to do Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, this is a fantastic feature in uh, V-Ray 5, and I'm really, really excited about it. It was really difficult to do this in the past, and now it's actually uh, quite easy to do. What I'll do is for posterity, I, I really like the sort of profile showing in the render. So what I'm gonna do is under the settings over here, I'm gonna look at the contours over here and 
toggle that on and maybe have it up to, let's say, uh, two here and let it render out as well. So that way I actually see the contours of the bottle show up as well. It kind of gives me the uh, SketchUp-y feel, if you will, which I really like in my renders. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions um, and I'm happy to produce other videos um, uh, that might uh, help you with that as well. Okay, thank you.